Hi guys, this is Pabli Connect Workshop. In this video, you will learn how to shorten URL from Google Sheets via Bitly. Now, Google Sheet is an amazing spreadsheet program and Bitly is a very promising tool to shorten the URL. So what we are trying to do is whenever a lengthy URL is added in Google Sheet row, Bitly will shorten it and the new shortened URL will be placed in the adjacent row. For example, this is the lengthy URL you have in column B, row 2. Now the shortened URL will be placed in the adjacent row column C. Okay, so it's awesome. However, Bitly and Google Sheets are two different companies. Hence, there is no data flow between them. In cases like these, we need to bring a third app to connect them both. In this video, we will use Pabli Connect to integrate Bitly to Google Sheets. It is actually an easy four step process. Let me show you how it's done. So first of all, you have to visit the website called as Pabli Connect. This is the website. Here, click on sign in. Then log in. Okay, so when you log in, you will be brought to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have an account in Pabli Connect. You can build your own account in just two minutes. Now, bring your attention to this part called as Connect. Here, click on Access Now. At the right corner, you will find a button called as Create Workflow. Just click it. When you click on this button, a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to enter a name. I am going to give it as Google Sheets to Bitly. Google Sheets to Bitly. Then click on Create. When you click on Create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the Trigger window. Here in the Choose app, change it from Webhook to Google Sheets. In the Choose method, we have to keep it as New Spreadsheet Row. So what we are trying to do is, we are trying to integrate Google Sheets to Pabli Connect. So let me show you my Google Sheet. So this is my Google Sheet and it has been named Shortened URL. Okay, so this is the first column called as the name, the column B called as the lengthy URL and this is the column C called the short URL. Now bring your attention to this part called as add-ons. Click this. As you can see, there is an option called as Pabli Connect Webhook. This is because I have an add-on called as Pabli Connect installed in my system. If you don't have, just click on Get Add-ons. When you click this, G Suite Marketplace opens up. Here in the search, just type Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect Webhooks. So as you can see, it is installed. Just click it and you will have it installed in your system. Okay, so let's uh, cancel this. Go to Pabli Connect and here click on Initial Setup. Click this. Okay, so a window appears. It has two blanks called as webhook URL and the trigger column. In the webhook URL, you just have to go to Pabli Connect and copy this and paste it here. This is the webhook URL you want. In the trigger column, we are going to keep the trigger column as B. Capital B. So your obvious question is why are we keeping the trigger column as B? Well, the answer is very simple. The last data entry column is always the trigger column. The idea is that whenever the last data entry column is filled, there will be a trigger. Okay. Since our last data entry column is B, we are keeping it as B. If the last data entry column was C, we would have kept it as C. So what have we done here is we have basically integrated Google Sheets to Pabli Connect. Now let's see whether Pabli Connect can capture the data from Google Sheets into it. So let's go back to Pabli Connect and click on capture webhook response. Okay, it is showing that it is waiting for a webhook response. So let's go to our Google Sheet and click on send test. Okay, it is showing that the data has been sent to Pabli Connect. So let's see whether Pabli Connect has captured the data or not. Yes, uh, it has captured the data. As you can see, the name is rabbit. Uh, the name of uh, our the first column was rabbit and uh, the lengthy URL. Of course, this is the column called as the lengthy URL. It has captured the data. That is the URL. Okay, so we have successfully integrated Google Sheets to Pabli Connect. Also, we have captured the lengthy URL. Now we have to shorten this lengthy URL using Bitly. To do that, just click on this plus button. When you click on this plus button, a window appears in front of you. This time it is called as the action window. Here in the choose app, change it from API to Bitly. In the choose method, since we are only interested in shortening the link, let's keep it as shortened link. Then click on connect with Bitly. In select your credentials, let's keep it as new credentials. In authorize application, just click on connect. Okay, so it is asking me to authorize Pabli to use my account. Just click on allow. Okay, so it is showing that the authorization is successful. Just click on OK. In the group, it is uh, mentioning as Ashirai. Ashirai is basically my name. So it is just showing the username. In the long URL, we basically have to map the URL. Okay, so this is the lengthy URL that we have got from Google Sheet. Then click on save and send test request. 
Okay, so the API response is showing that it has shortened the URL and this is the shortened URL. Now we have to place this shortened URL into the Google Sheet. This process involves two action windows. In the first action window, we are going to look up those columns where the data value has to be taken. And in the second action window, we are going to update the row adjacent to these columns. It is very easy. So just click on this plus button. So again, as usual, another action window appears in the choose app. This time, let's add Google Sheet because we want to insert the data. So in the choose method, click on look up spreadsheet rows. OK, then click on connect. As usual, in select your credentials, let's keep it as new credentials. In authorized application, just click on connect. Okay, it is showing me a series of accounts. So I am only particularly interested in this account. This is the account where my Google Sheet is present. So click it. And it is asking me to come for my choice. Just click on allow. Okay, it's showing that the authorization is successful. Just click on OK. In the spreadsheet, it is showing API sheet because there is a sheet called as API sheet present in my Google account. We want to change it to shorten URL. Okay, this is the Google sheet we want, shorten URL. In the sheet, it is showing us sheet one. That is because I have only one sheet, that is sheet one. Now in the lookup columns, we want to enter the data columns. Since we have only two columns, that is A and B, we will type A and B. So let me show you, these are the data columns A and B. Okay, so since there are only two data columns, we will just type A comma B. A comma B. If there are more data columns, type all of them and separate each of them with comma. For example, if there are three columns, just type A comma B comma C. Okay, so uh, coming to lookup values, just map in the value. That is the lengthy URL. Okay, include headers, let's keep it as true. Then click on save and send test request. Okay, it is showing that Google Sheet has read the data from column A and B. Now we need to update the column C. When I say update column C, it basically means the shortened URL will be placed in column C row 2 here. And when another lengthy URL is added into column B, it will place the shortened URL in the same column as C, but this time row 3 and so on. So uh, let's uh, click on this plus button. This time we are going to update the value in Google Sheets. So API is again changed to Google Sheets. In the choose method, let's keep it as update value, then click on connect. Now you know the drill, select your credentials, let's keep it as new credentials, authorize application, just click on connect. So this is the account I am interested in. It is asking me to confirm my choice, just click on allow. Okay, the authorization is successful. As usual in the spreadsheet, just change it to shorten URL. That's the spreadsheet we are interested in. In the sheet, it is showing sheet one. Just keep it as sheet one because there is only one sheet in this as shorten URL, the range. Now in the range, we are basically mentioning the address of the cell where the data will be inserted. As you can see, the data will be inserted in column C, row to column C. Okay, so first let's add the column name as C. This is the address that is column C. Now we are going to add the row name. But remember, we are not going to place the row name as two. OK, we are expecting to keep the row name as two because this is the second row. But we are not going to keep the row name as two. The reason is unlike the column, the row will keep on changing. For example, it is column C row two. This is the column and this is the row. OK, it is column C row two. But for the next URL, it will be again column C, but this time it will be row three. So what I'm trying to say is that our row will keep on changing, but the column will remain as C. That is why we are going to map the row as, uh, let's see, response result row index two. OK, now coming to the values, we are going to input the values in column C. Here we are going to input the values. So the values should be always inserted inside double quotes. OK. Now we are going to map the value that is the shortened URL. So where is our shortened URL? So yes, this is our shortened URL. Click this and click on save and send test request. Okay, so the API response is showing that it has sent the data to our shortened URL Google Sheet. So let's see whether we have this data or not in our column C. So let's see, yes, we have the data. So first of all, let's uh, submit this OK, so this is our data shortened URL. The presence of this URL shows that we have successfully integrated Google Sheets to Bitly with help of Public Connect. This means anytime a lengthy URL is entered in Google Sheets, a new shortened URL will be automatically entered into column C. 
But for your satisfaction, let's check it one more time if the integration is working fine or not. To do that, first let's save this all workflows. Okay. Minimize this. Save this. Okay. Minimize this. Save this. Okay. Minimize this and save this. And also minimize this. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Google Sheets to Pabbly Connect. Then you shortened the link using Bitly. And then you have looked up the Google Sheet rows. And then you updated the values in column C. Okay, so let's go and insert one more lengthy URL. But before that, let me show you one more thing. Uh, let's go to add-ons and then to Pabbly Connect webhook. Here, click on send on event. This will ensure that whenever there is a lengthy URL entered in column B, it will send the short URL in column C automatically. So uh, let's say this time name is lion and the lengthy URL. Let's add a lengthy URL. Just uh, copy this. Copy this and uh, paste it here. So let's see whether we get the shortened URL or not. Yes, we have got the shortened URL. Let's try it one more time. It's actually pretty interesting. So I have a one more URL. Copy this. So let's add the name. I don't know. Some random name, that's all. And then paste the URL. Let's see whether we receive the shortened URL or not. Yes, we got the shortened URL. So our integration is working absolutely fine. So from now onwards, whenever a lengthy URL is added into Google Sheet, the column C will show the shortened URL. Also, you should know not just Bitly and Google Sheets, you can integrate a ton of applications using Pabbly Connect. Thanks.